Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 13. We are back. They lock up here. We are back playing this game. Uh, I took a two-hour break from this game for my last session, so I'm gonna get back into it. It's still. I'm pretty sure by the time I start putting these videos, I was gonna be like late October, going into November. But we're in the middle of October right now. Today is like the 15th of October, so yeah. I've been playing this game for about a month now. I beat the Attitude Era mode already, so I don't, I don't even think I have to even, like, I don't even know if I really even want to um, do the objectives that you see on the screen. Like, you see those objectives on the screen right there? And, you know, I don't know. I really don't want to, you know, I don't want to uh, really do that. Ow. Come on, do love. Oh, have mercy. Man, Mick Foley. Man, Mick Foley was a fucking beast. Man, I, I gotta admit that, man. You, you can't deny that Mick Foley was a fucking beast. Man, you know, was the greatest wrestler, you know, you know, was it the greatest wrestler, you know, move set wise, but the dude could take an ass whooping like no other, man. Like, you talk about all those hell in the cell matches, dude. Like, dude, love was like, I mean, Mick Foley was just that, that man. My father was just that dude. And the Pun intended. <laughs> Nick Foley was just that dude, man. He took too much. He took too much of an ass whooping. My father took too much of an ass whooping. That that man, they should. They, they, the WWE should be paying that man for life. He shouldn't even be making special appearances, and you know doing other stuff for money, but WWE should set him for life. He, he put his body on the line. And again, there's a lot of guys that put their body on the line for this company to strive and be better than WCW. To be honest with you, I never even knew WWE, I never even knew WCW existed, to be honest with you. I never knew it existed until about 2000, 2006. Yeah, 2006 is when I knew that that uh that a WCW was even a thing because I I don't even I didn't even know about ECW until 2005. So shit, that says a lot about my wrestling history. But then again, you gotta understand I'm a '90s kid. You know, I grew up in the early mid '90s, early mid '90s. You know. I didn't get into wrestling until the late 90s, which is 98. That was the perfect time to get into wrestling, too, because was like, that was like the Steve Austin, McMahon era. That was the best time to get into wrestling. And just go on from there. Just great things. All the way up to, like, 2010. Then 2010, that's when WWE went to shit. That's when I gave up on it. I didn't want to watch it. I didn't want nothing to do with it. I just, ugh. Yeah, I, I did.